WWE has never been hotter. Drew McIntyre just quit the company in storyline. Oh, screw this company. I quit. Dominic Mysterio remains the luckiest person in the world. Oh no! Oh no! You're talking about a scene here for Dominic Mysterio. The Wyatt Six has destroyed everybody. We're here. And Immaculate WWE 2023 is finally here. What a time to be a wrestling trading card collector. Oh, you didn't know? RGO gonna tell somebody. What is up, wrestling trading card collectors? It's your boy Run Good coming back at you with a brand new video. And today we are checking out the much delayed, highly anticipated 2023 Immaculate Collection WWE. Yes, I know, it's June 2024. And here we sit with a 2023 product, presumably our final product of the 2023 slate before we get 2024 Prism sometime next month. As always, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate a like on my content. I'm going with the first off-the-line version, which is going to include, include one extra card numbered to six. And these were pricey, sold at Dutch auction. I believe they floored at $700, maybe one level below. I can't quite remember, but that is around what the hobby version of this product is selling for, 700 bucks. Everyone has a price for the million dollar man. <laughs> And from what I have seen, this is a major step up from last year. Now, $700 for a WWE box is a lot of money. Let's let's start that off. A lot of money. But compared to 2022 Immaculate, which I personally ripped somewhere in the neighborhood of 35-ish uh, cases. Yowie wowie. And between me and JML, we ripped about 50 cases total. This one is seems supercharged from what I have seen. The autograph checklist is absolutely insane. You're not just getting one top name per box. I've seen plenty of boxes that have had two or three really, really good strong auto names. The memorabilia look insane. So as we know, last year, 2022 or two years ago, Immaculate, I think, was hands down the best product that Panini made on the WWE side. Select has also been incredible. Uh, this one, I think this might be a step up from 2022 impeccable was our other high-end set that came out just a couple of months ago i don't think it can compete to this i think you're talking about like an all-timer versus a mid carter to be honest because this product at face value from what i've seen in all the first off the line cases that i've watched probably about 20 at this point this stuff is just juice price point is very very high but wrestling trading card collectors are crazy, self-included. Uh, so seven cards total today. One extra first off the line auto. We're going to get two mems, a base card, and four autos total today. And uh, yeah, man, WWE has just been on fire. We just had Clash of the Castle on uh, Saturday. We just had an insane WWE Monday Night Raw. The final finally got the debut of the Wyatt Six, which insane ending if you didn't see it raw. But uh, man, I'm just, I'm honestly stoked. We got Undertaker colors this year on the iMac box. There is everything if you want to take a look on the back. Looking for the Platinum One of Ones. And then this little guy right here. It's called the Attitude Era. It is an eight-way booklet featuring the top stars of the Attitude Era. I know Trish Stratus, Mankind, Shawn Michaels, uh, Undertaker, Stone Cold. I think Brett is on there. I want to say Kane is on there too. And I, Kurt Angle, I think, as well. So I think those are the eight. That is, of course, the biggest chase in my opinion. Opinion other than some of the one ones last year we have the bloodline booklet which I am a proud owner of uh, one of those to 25 they've also made a uh, added uh, they've so there's 25 attitude era but they've also made a platinum 101 I believe the platinum attitude era is probably gonna be the number one hit in the product and uh, yeah we got the undertaker also the Damian priest colors rolling my one downside to this product having watched you know about a hundred boxes get opened it seems like pretty much every other box you are going to get a redemption. So, unfortunately, not everybody is signing. Uh, I've just seen a lot of redemptions. I've seen... It's weird because I've seen, like, redemptions. I've seen live cards and redemptions of the same wrestler. That seems a little strange. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's kick it off. Hopefully... I don't see a redemption on the back, so that's good. That is good. Hopefully, we don't have any redemptions. And if so, it's somebody who actually signed. Because that's the biggest worry. 
The biggest worry anytime you rip a product like this, you know, for example, we all know Triple H is not signing from 2022 products. That sucks. Um, but even that Attitude Era booklet is a uh, is a redemption. All right, we're going to kick it off. NXT base card is going to be Gigi Dolan. Gigi Dolan to 75 to kick it off. I haven't really done much with her down in NXT, but NXT has been cooking lately. Next out, we should have two mems and our first one. I think we're going to Gelman on this one, the Becky Super Collector. Uh, Becky Lynch, 6 of 99 from her, like, I don't know, this character. This this version of her character was crazy. Uh, and that is a canvas from WrestleMania 38 Night 1, a couple WrestleManias ago. Next out, another mem, and that is going to be Chad Gable, who uh, may or may not be dead. We don't know. Uh, Chad Gable to 99. It's probably like a... If I just had to guess based off a of canvas, I'm going to say SummerSlam. Uh, WrestleMania 38 Night 2. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that whole storyline is crazy. Uh, we do have a redemption here. So, like I said, getting redemptions. Is it two redemptions? No, it's not. Okay. It is on top. So, thankfully, usually in this slot, as far as autos go, usually this slot is one of the lesser tier names and then as you get towards the back of the box you get your better names all time greats uh okay this is gonna be like terry taylor or something or rikishi okay well i will i will settle for the tribal cheeks i love me some rikishi i did it for the people i did it for the rock i did it i did, uh, shut your mouth your thong wearing fatty rikishi is our all-time great signature that's gonna be numbered to 99 Probably like a $20, $30 card right there. And our three autos. I don't see Platinum Foil. I do see NXT in the middle. Could be could be a Nikita, though. Uh-oh. Well, that card's not staying in my collection long. That is the Miz to 99. JML, a Miz super collector. Don't ask me what he sees in this guy. All in all, I'd say that treasure's worth about $14. We got the Miz on the mem. Nothing crazy in the Pat Swatch window. Some of the swatches I've seen from this product are sick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We did it. We did it. We got Nikita to 99 for the PC. I was hoping. I was hoping. I knew she has two autos, two mems, and a base card in this one. Uh, shout out to uh, Wholesale Jr. who already pulled me one of these during the uh, photo uh, release uh, window. So I already have one of these coming, and now I have two. And our final card of the day probably like an 80 ish dollar card i would guess this is our first patch auto and this is going to be our money maker right here to six we need a big name we need a big name to six arm Ooh, that's a that's a veiny arm if i had to guess from right here i'm going batista <sighs> Ugh. i don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life Ugh. two of six braun Strowman. that is a major dud Oh, boy. Well, give and take, right? I got a big PC card. JML got a big PC card. And then our Fodal is an absolute skunk. Probably like a $50 card at best. Uh, and then, eh, eh, it it sucks because, right, there. this is a product that's built on huge patches and really good-looking patches and, I mean, really good-looking. But, I mean, that's not a, that's not a patch that I would... Uh, Consider to be worthy of a first off the line to six considering some of the stuff that I've seen come out of this product That is a very lackluster patch and of course the Miz you just got the black napkin Overall though. I do think that that box is on the weaker side uh, From what I have seen some of these boxes are hot and cold. I've seen boxes that have had autos of Cody Stone Cold and a good redemption um, so I've seen boxes that are like God boxes and then I've seen boxes that are that are more along this. And I think this was actually, this was not the worst box I've seen, uh, believe it or not. Rikishi on the Redemption. Miz, nice little $2. No, it's like a $15 card. Uh, Braun Strowman, probably like a $50 card. The problem with Braun Strowman is there's just not a lot of, I don't think there's a Braun Strowman super collector. Uh, the more people who collect, obviously, the more valuable the cards. Duh, supply and demand. Uh, Nikita to 99 on the auto couple of mems nothing crazy just canvases and our base was gg overall though i like the product what do i think about the price uh i don't know so last year immaculate came out at 500 a box and that seemed a little high 
And then now if you open up IMAX, some of those big singles of the top superstars, I'm talking, you know, the Hogan's, the Stone Cold's to 99, they sell for like three to 400 bucks. Some of the other stuff sells for crazy amounts, the 101s and the golds and things like that. Just because the product is uh, dried up so much, you can't even find last year's Immaculate for under $800 a box, I think is the cheapest I've seen when I've checked recently. And once again, this is coming from somebody who's opened 35 to 40 cases of it in our breaks. Um, 700 seems high. I think Impeccable was way too high. And compared to Impeccable, this one actually seems better. They're both around the same price point. Impeccable is right around like 650 right now. Immaculate is going to come out at 650 to 700. I think of the two, what what I, what I would like to see, I would like to see Impeccable get down to under six. I think even under even five, 550. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that there is a just a huge interest in wrestling cards right now. It was one of the fastest growing segments last year in terms of trading cards, just in general. So. I do, I would like to see this more closer to five and impeccable at like the same price point. I don't think that's going to happen. I think this one at worst will slide maybe down to six. I could also just see it going to 750 uh, because once again, this is a product that they don't make a ton of. This isn't like Prism. This isn't like Elite. This isn't like Chronicles where they make a ton of the product and the price just kind of stays stagnant or goes down a little bit. This one gets ripped a ton. A ton, only five boxes per case, and I think there's something like I don't, I don't know. I think last year somebody did the math that there was like fifteen thousand cases out there or something like that. So there's not a ton of it. There's a lot of wrestling breakers, a lot of just interest in high end wrestling because we're only getting like one wrestling set every couple of months at best. And the Panini license seems to be winding down. It looks like 2024. WWE is going to be it, and then the license will switch back on over to Fanatics sometime in 2025. That is the, that's that's kind of what the wrestling community, wrestling trading card community is expecting. So I don't expect this one to go down that much. I like the product today. We kind of got a dusty box. I'm going to leave it at that. It's a fun product to rip. Uh, let me know if you ripped any. Let me know what your best hit is. Uh, release day on, on Hobby was Wednesday. Let me know if you're going to hop into any breaks. We will be breaking a ton of this product over the next couple of weeks, and we have a pretty cool Cody Rhodes autographed replica belt promotion as well. That is going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.